the self is who you are not, and I'll explain a little bit more about that, and the soul is who you are becoming. Now, I'll talk about the self first of all, because I, I see a lot of things and I go, what is this upper self, higher self, enlightened self, this self, that self, and the next self? Very simple. You come into this world. As you come in, you've already ha made a contract. And that contract is before you came to the earth plane. You said, right, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I'll, I always do this because everybody loves this. So you're in the spirit world and you say, okay, this is great. I'm going to go to the earth plane and, and I want to have this experience when I'm on the earth plane. And I want to help so many people because I've learned through so much. So we, we get onto the earth plane and as children we play and then we grow up and we suddenly go, what was that? I, was, I know there was something I was supposed to be doing. What is it? So we go through our lives with this knowing, like the itch in our back we can't just get to. We know there's something, but because the self comes in and clouds everything, we forget. And then we get towards our time when we're passing into the spirit world, and suddenly all of a sudden it's like, oh my goodness me, you know, we're going to be passing into the spirit world, well I better do something. And all of a sudden we pass to the spirit world, we get there, we go, that's what it was, now I remember. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Can I go back, please? Because And then you get back onto the earth plane, and you get down there, and you remember as children, and you play, and you have everything around you, and you play cowboys and Indians because you remembered your past lives, and you did your Knights Templar, and all the rest of it. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, work comes in, and school comes in, and religion comes in, and everyday living and family come in, and all of a sudden you're going along, do you know, I knew there was something I was supposed to be doing for myself. But you know, can you just come and do Yes, certainly. And I know, oh yeah, can you get the phone? Yes, certainly. And I know it's something. Can you just drive down? And you're lost. And it's forgotten. And it's underneath somewhere. So you go around searching for that. And then again, you get to the old age. And then you go into the spirit world and you go, right, the next time I'm going to remember. And so it keeps going on and on and on and on and on until we remember. Thank goodness I remembered this lifetime. It's taken me a heck of a lot. So I'm not going to say how many lifetimes I've had before to remember. And that's what happens. Now, what happens in the transition is that we are beautiful souls. We're absolutely incredible. I've never seen a bad child yet. I've never seen an evil baby coming into this world, ever. Have any of you? Anybody looked at a baby and gone, oh, that's evil, that's wicked. It's not, is it? And I know there's somebody here that's worked with children. Who's worked with children before? I know the feel there's somebody here that's worked with children. There's quite a few of you, isn't there? So you've never seen bad children, have you? Okay. And then what happens is that as we come into this world, things start to happen. Our parents... Our schooling, it's getting a lot better now, thank goodness. <laughs> our education, religion, family. And everything starts to come in. And bit by bit by bit, who you are is taken away. Pieces, fragmentations occur. What we call in the shamanic term, soul loss. <coughs> and bit by bit by bit, we lose our identity. And then becomes this personality of who you're not. 